because yeah, even if an entire region or country was was uh, lost connectivity because of a severe, you know, uh, hurricane or floods or fires or you know tornadoes, uh, earthquakes. And there's so many natural disasters. Obviously, um, you would actually still have even if all the cell towers were taken out, your phone would still work. Thank you. Let's get into the article. SpaceX to launch first batch of direct to sell Starlink satellites on December 29th. SpaceX plans to launch another batch of its Starlink internet satellites early on the morning of December 29th. A Falcon 9 rocket topped with 21 Starlink craft is scheduled to launch from California's Vindenberg Space Force Base on Saturday during a roughly 3.5 hour window that opens at 12.09 a.m. Eastern Time. Quote, the launch will include the first six Starlink satellites with direct to sell capabilities. This will enable mobile network operations around the world to provide seamless global access to texting, calling, and browsing wherever you may be on land, lakes, or coastal waters. They also stated that the 21 Starlink satellites, meanwhile, are scheduled to deploy from the Falcon 9's upper stage into lower Earth orbit about 62.5 minutes after liftoff. SpaceX has already launched more than 90 orbital missions in 2023, plus two test flights of its giant next-generation Starship Mars rocket. Most of the launch actions have been devoted to building out Starlink SpaceX broadband mega constellation. The network currently consists of more than 5,100 active satellites and, as of Friday, plans liftoff shows is growing all the time. Now, as I've stated before, I'm all for competition. Some people might feel that, oh, I'm a little bit wary. Uh, what is he going to do with, you know, all of the cell data and information? What is he going to use it for some nefarious purposes that we don't specifically know about? Well, what has the government done since the Patriot Act? And even before that, what have all the cell phone uh, providers and carriers, what have they been found to be doing? They were misusing people's cell phone information. They were looking directly at your emails, listening to your phone calls, doing any and everything that they want to sit up there and do. On top of the fact that you even got certain websites that were selling off, um, you know, people's data when it dealt with them perusing online, Facebook and all these other places. So, I'm not really too concerned or worried because if something's going to get used, it's going to get used. Can't directly stop it. But the implications of no matter where you are on the planet, you will always have connectivity to make calls, text message to get into contact with somebody. That's large. Um, no cell phone provider can specifically state that to you. They might say that, hey, we have this great coverage, but it's only when it deals with the United States. They don't have cell phone coverage when it deals with the Amazon or if you're in the, the middle of the ocean or whatnot or whatever. This is going to open up something brand new that a lot of people have never before seen at all. And it's also going to force and push a lot of cell phone providers to try to implement or do something of the, or close to, or along the lines of the same scale that Elon is trying to do, or not trying, that he is doing at this current moment of time, because they did state that he has a quote-unquote mega constellation of satellites directly up there. I think they said somewhere around uh, 5,100 satellites. So that's a lot of satellites, and that will cover a lot of the globe, um, you know, depending on where a person is and having connectivity is always important um, when you're traveling because you never know what could potentially happen. We've seen incidences of people uh, being stranded. We've seen incidences of ships um, going down or maybe instances of people being in other countries and that country's government decided to have a blackout because of whatever was going on internally. Um, politically, be it a civil war, a coup, or whatever it is. People lose electricity, they lose access to water, um, and they lose the ability to connect with the outside world during events like this. And having SpaceX and Elon deciding to do something like this, that is a game changer. That will also allow other people who may suffer from a blackout in their country or maybe in a country where their government rules and regulates the internet 
that will allow them to actually get to the outside world to inform people, hey, this is what we're going through. Uh, this is what's happening here. They can send pictures. They can send videos. So again, this is going to be something very interesting. And you're going to have a lot of others out there, meaning the higher ups, meaning uh, the ones who own a lot of these cell phone corporations and also the United States government. Um, they more than likely may try to stop or hinder um, a lot of these things. Because right now on your cell phone, you can switch a carrier. You can um, switch to a different tower. They may try to implement certain things in phones where you cannot connect to, you know, uh, his satellites so that you can always have this access. Because guess what? If you could just buy a phone and then you could just use Elon's, um, you know, uh, cell phone service, why, why are you going to pay for a provider, why are you going to pay for Verizon or Sprint or whoever is directly out there? You're not. So the best in the best interest of these other cell phone providers, they're going to work with others such as the government in order to try to implement certain things. So, again, it's, it's going to be a very interesting thing and uh, people need to pay very close attention to what's to come.